So we're going to look at three attacks from side control. Um, in order for us to get to side control, we're going to do a, a quick little takedown. Katagaruma, uh, also known as the fireman's carry. So if I lock up with AJ here on a standard grip position here, my hand that's on the inside is going to go to the outside. And I'm just going to grab the gi just on the outside close to his armpit. All right? And then from there, I'm going to drop to both knees. My left hand is going to enter. And I'm going to try to, I'm going to land in between AJ's legs. I'm going to drop here as deep as I can. Okay, I don't want to sit on my heels. I want to stay up. I'm hugging his leg. I'm bringing this down here so that I've got him up on my shoulder. Standard, standard fireman's carry. I'm going to post my left knee up, and then I'm going to pull his head down, lift his legs up, and let him fall. And then I'm going to land right here on the side control position. Now, from side control, we're going to do three attacks, okay? To get us started, I'm going to try to kill this arm. And the way I'm going to kill the arm, if you can come around this way, the way I'm going to kill his arm, I'm going to bring my right knee in, and I'm going to slice it across his bicep here, okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to switch. I want to go from this leg, controlling this arm, to my left leg. So I'm going to do a windshield wiper. I'm going to windshield wiper this hook across, if you can see this. All right, and then I'll unhook. So I go from here to here. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do, if his arm's under, sometimes it'll already be over the back, which is perfect. That's where I want it to be. But if it's under... It's just a matter of putting my chin to the inside and swimming my head in, okay, if it's not already in position. So once his arm's in position, I'm going to put this knee over his head. I'm going to grab his bicep, and I'm going to drop my elbow in front of his stomach here, okay? And I'm going to turn and look this way, all right? Once I'm here, as you can see, I've got control over that leg. It's going to be hard for him to use this hand to defend the attack, okay? I'm still grabbing his bicep. My elbow is still in front of his uh, chest, kind of heavy. And I'm going to look this way. I'm going to switch arms here so that I can free up my left hand, grab his wrist, and bring it here. Okay, now, the initial thought is to go for the Kimura, which is going to be our second attack. But I'm going to bring this hand in front of his wrist. So instead of having the standard wrist control, I'm not, sorry, yeah, uh, grip right on his wrist, I'm going to let it go to his, the meaty part of his palm. Okay, so I go here. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to establish, I'm going to mobilize his elbow so that it doesn't move. Okay, I'm going to keep it right there in front of my chest. Go here, and I'm going to go for a wrist lock right there. Okay, so one more time. I'm here. Okay, I switch, I step my right knee over his head, cup his bicep, drop my elbow in front of his chest here. Okay, I'm going to switch to here so that I free up my left hand. And instead of going right for the wrist at first, I'm going to grab the meaty part of the hand, bring his elbow into my chest to keep it still. I'm going here. You can also go to a double grip. Or you can just keep it, still grabbing your own wrist, going for the wrist lock there. Okay, now, the second attack. I'm still in this position, so instead of grabbing the meaty part of the hand, I'm here. Okay, I'm going to post my right knee up. I want to make sure he's sideways, he's not flat on his back. Okay, so part of this is going to be to bring him with you when you post this knee up. Alright, elbow to the chest, finish in the standard grimoire. If he happens to grab the belt... Here, okay, the common mistake most people make is they try to come straight up here. And as you can see, he can defend this. So the best way to, one of the best ways to defend this, or to make him let go of the grip rather, is to make his hand go that way first. Then posture up, then finish the Kimura there. And even from here, we still have the wrist lock option when we're in Kimura position. So those, are, those work really well together. All right, so again, he grabs the belt. Okay, don't come straight up first, rip out, up, and then go for the Kimura there. Our third and final attack is the standard armbar. Okay, so when I'm here, for whatever reason, he could be starting to come to his knees, so I switch and I fall back for the standard armbar. If I feel like he's starting to change his position, 
and I'm going to lose the Kimura. So one more time, I have my shin across his bicep to immobilize this arm. I have my right knee over. I have the grip Kimura position. I've gotten here. I have the wrist lock option. I have the Kimura option. But if he's starting to come to his knees, I can switch and fall back for the standard arm bar. Both hands are on the wrist, making sure his thumb's pointing up, and I finish the standard arm bar there. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, hope you enjoy that. Try it out. See what you think. Thanks.